and he's ranked among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Yeah. Fighting out of La Prueba, Cuba, and Miami, yeah. Florida, USA. The reigning, defending, undefeated yeah. super title holder as the WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Guillermo yeah. El Chacal Arrigando. Difficult to deal with than anything Rick and Dial is dealing with, at least tonight. Left hand to the body from the gold medalist and scores a knockdown just 19 seconds into his pro career. A little bit and they're tangled up again right there with the southpaw and the straight left hand catches Noriega. No snap from Regan Dial with that jab. There's a, to say the least. He's not a really front end fighter. What I mean by that is a guy who really sets up his offense. That's and the referee doing the right thing there. Sam Berger exactly saying, I know what. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Fountain Blue Hotel on Miami Beach, Florida, your referee in charge, Sam Burgo, stops this bout at one minute, nine seconds of the third round. Your winner by TKO, Guillermo El Chacal Rigandia. And then you get maybe a little bit of a chance to hustle later on maybe steal portions of the round he was talking about there with Regan the out doesn't take many chances not gonna lead to you for the most part and that's what I like to see him improve and work on as I said in the top and they have a good counter punch as he steps back and creates a little gap Unbelievable skill out of Regan Diaz. Stepped back and the counter punch scores a knockout win. Laser like accuracy from the gold medalist. And you see right there, perfectly placed. Just finished talking about that Regan Diaz doesn't want to waste anything. Well, he didn't waste anything. One punch does the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kenny Bayless. About it. Two minutes, 57 seconds of the first round. The winner by knockout victory, Guillermo El Chico Only the beginning. ...that he needs for that left uppercut or that straight left hand. Andrade has just acted up. And he goes down and takes a knee without a shot. I think it's for reasons for it. First of all, try to use him as legs to defense. No better way to... Your winner by TKO, still undefeated, Guillermo El Chacal Riganda. He is going to need to learn to step forward and take his man out. He stepped out and he did it all too easily here. And again, a good, clean body punch. Not the constitution you want to see from a fighter or the behavior you want to see from Andrade, but it was a clean punch. You saw it right there. And again, good. His next bout, which would be his fifth. Left hand by Rigandau and that Letterman both saw this contest. 80 71, all for your winner by unanimous decision. And still undefeated, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondiao. Rigondiao, a unanimous decision winner. One of the judges gave Lanthi Addy a round. I'm guessing the second round when Addy landed down. His, his next bout, which would be his fifth. Left hand by Rigondiao and that next bout may be coming sooner than we anticipated. I told you I'll try to get it in. I can't promise. Just walking foot over down. Three to nothing, Guillermo Rigondeau. As a professional, it's very important. Rigondeau's knee hit the... To the winner by split decision, El Chacal, Guillermo Ricando.
But not to. Oh, it's another of those three shots that are absolutely devastating. Oh, another left hand, and down goes Big Bang. He was hurt at least three times in that round. He won't be hurt anymore. He ran into a tsunami. A tsunami called Redondo. He, he did whatever he had to do uh, in case he could sort of survive, but he was caught with some very, very, very powerful shots there, as you can see. He and still, the interim WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondao. So he was not active in that fight and had to pull it out with a knockout win. Oh, big left hand by Rigondao, and Rima Ramos is in trouble. He's down. We got a problem, and now here comes Rigondao. And there goes Rico Ramos from a left to the body. And that one was this is the second fight in a row in which Rigondao, first against Willie Casey, and now in this fight, after the, the, the tentative performance against Cordoba, where he has won by stoppage and where he's won with his power. And again, that's a seven punch combination yep. with the left. And new WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, Guillermo El Chico Rigondeaux! Shots that Regan Dow is putting on him now. Kennedy fires back. Russell Moore. Fascinating the way he set up the uppercut, and there's Biff. Another combination on Knockdown number four. Faint. He's not tricking the guy. Knockdown number That's five. The knockdown. He was knocked down five times in this fight. Yeah, that might count for two losses, Jim. I don't know, but that was a dominant, dominant win. Yep. Love touch five, the winner by knockout victory, still undefeated and still WBA Super Bantamweight champion of the world, Guillermo El Chacal Rigondo. Le está diciendo, ven, vamos a intercambiar golpes. Aquí estoy quieto. Suelta, oh, 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 cuidado. Oh, oh, me parece oh, con la guardia oh, baja y choca. Oh, oh, y lo recibe oh, con la mano izquierda. Oh, ¡Qué oh, violencia oh, aquí de Guillermo! Oh, ¡Se aborreó! ¡Se aborreó! Oh, el cabezazo, oh, pues ya lo oh, pone. Oh, casi no, fuera de combate. Está, está fuera. Amateur boxing like the Soviets. Oh, and Amagasa drops Rigondeau and another one. And Rigondeau, it looked like he was thrown to the ground there from him. He's, he's too beautiful left. Oh, and looked like it may have stunned. Oh, and Amagasa oh, goes down. Yes. And there we see it. The Titleist do not wish to take him on. Then I wouldn't mind seeing Amagasa getting a chance against a Scott Quigg or a Carl Frampton or possibly even a Santa Cruz. Right, it does a lot for Amagasa's stock. It, it, this is a name making fight for him. He's a fighter that no one will have heard of, but hardcore boxing fans are. Proud product of the Everton Red Triangle Gym. It's so awkward. He's practically cheating. Good left hand there from Rigondeau. Sharp. There's no tell in his. That's that's the thing about Rigondeau as well. There's no no tell in his punches. He doesn't move the hand before he throws it. It goes direct from where it is. Oh, good left. Oh, good left hand good from Jackson. from Dickens. that the winner and still the WBA Super Bantamweight Champion of the World from Miami by way of Cuba is Guillermo Rigondo. So Rigondo retains his title. Ladies One or two boos around the audience, but Jazza Dickens breaking his jaw.
to let go of the counter. So look, there it is right there. You see, there was one really going on. Moises was, was oh, pushing. Oh, what a full uppercut as well. And a left hand after the bell. No, and down goes no, Flores. No, but is no, that no. right? Hang on a minute. Controversy here. With the uppercut behind it. And that is a foul. But that had nothing to do with the way the fight ended. Why are you focusing on this when he wasn't holding him behind the head when the well, lethal punch landed? Because when the final punch lands, which is the one that's in question, it's, there's no holding behind the head. No holding so what, there. what are you worried about the holding behind the head for? I think it's, he was about oh, to tell him off for the behind the... In a knockout, and the winner by knockout victory, and still the super champion, and now recognized as the all over WBA super bantamweight champion of the world still undefeated Guillermo El Chacarigandao